Hello children. Today we will learn the seventh chapter in science. The name of the chapter is Adaptations in Plants. Adaptations means these are the modifications seen in the plants to adjust to the area or place where they live. At the end of this chapter, we will be able to explain why different plants and animals live in different environments. Describe the different types of plants. Describe how plants are adopted to the environment in which they live. Wherever you go, you will find plants and animals. This is true. But the plants and animals living in different kinds of places differ from each other. So we see plants and animals in different areas or different places. But the plants and animals living in different kinds of places, they differ from each other. So the plants and animals living in one area will be different compared to the plants and animals living found in other area. The plants and animals found in the desert of Rajasthan are very different from those found in the mountains of Kashmir. So for example, the plants and animals which are found in the desert of Rajasthan are entirely different compared to the plants and animals that we get to see in mountains of Kashmir. Why do you think this is so? Do you think the plants and animals found in a pond can survive in a desert? Why or why not? See why there is difference in the plants and animals that are living in desert compared to mountains of Kashmir. See the plants and animals they get adjusted to live with their own modifications in their specific areas. So especially for example uh, the animals or plants which are found in desert they get adjusted to the heat of the desert. So very hot weather. So they will have their own modifications in their body so that they can survive in that climate. Whereas the animals which are found in mountains, they will have their own modification so that they, they can live uh, like well in the mountains of Kashmir. Naturally, Kashmir has got a cold climate. So they may have their own modifications so that they can live in that particular area. Now, do you think the plants and animals found in a pond can survive in a desert? Definitely no. The plants and animals which are found in a pond cannot survive in desert because a desert will have very hot climate. So the plants and animals which are found in pond cannot get adjusted to hot weather in the desert. So naturally they cannot survive. Now what is adaptation? You have already learned that plants and animals are living things. We all know both plants as well as animals they are living things. They need food, water, air, shelter and the right climate to survive. Do you know plants and animals, they require food, they require water, air, shelter. Shelter means a place to live and right climate to survive. Now, plants also need the right type of soil to grow in. So, especially plants, they require a right type of soil okay, to grow in. Plants and animals live in different places. Usually plants and animals are found in different places. They live in cold places as well as hot and dry places. So plants and animals are also found in cold places as well as even in hot and dry places. They also live in rivers and lakes. Even they are also found in water that is rivers and lakes. And in the salty water of the oceans. Even they are also found in salty water of the oceans. See sea water is salty. Each place has its own challenges. Each place it has its own challenge challenges okay so that the plant and animal should have little modification to survive in those places. You can see the picture of a desert here where the climate will be very hot especially during day and you can see the picture of a pond so which contains an aquatic plant. Aquatic plant means the plant that is actually found in water. Okay, here you can see the example of lotus. Plants and animals living in a certain place survive because they have adaptation suitable to the conditions of that place. So plants and animals living in each place, they survive or they live there mainly because of they will have some adaptations. Adaptations are nothing but certain modification. So which will suit that plant or animal to live in those conditions. For example, fishes have gills to breathe air dissolved in water. They cannot survive outside water because they cannot breathe outside water. See for example fishes. 
fishes have a special respiratory structure so just behind its a uh, mouth or eyes like gills are actually found in fishes gills are the structure which helps in respiration or breathing okay breathing of fishes in water so fishes have gills to breathe air dissolved in water usually uh, air dissolved in water is nothing but oxygen dissolved in water so that dissolved oxygen found in water so is is absorbed by the gills when the dissolved water passes through the gills it will absorb that particular oxygen so which is used for respiration process they cannot survive outside water but uh, fishes cannot survive outside water because they cannot breathe outside it should be air okay not water See, fishes are not suited to take in outside air directly. Only they can take the air which is found in water. And that they can do it with the help of gills. So, especially we can take outside air directly. Because we have a special respiratory structure called lungs. Which are absent in fishes. So, fishes can survive only in water. Not, in, not outside the water. Now, cacti. Cactus can survive in the dry desert because they can store water in their stem. See cactus for example, it can survive very well in the dry desert. The reason is, especially in dry desert, plants will have problem related to water. But what cactus will do? It can store water in their stem. It has got very thick stem where it can store water. Because of adaptation to suit their surroundings, plants and animals living in different places look different. So mainly because of these adaptations or modifications, okay, to suit their surrounding. See the plants and animals living in different places, they look different. So that is why there are so many types of plants and animals. Because of these adaptations, we can see different kinds of animals in different places. For example, the leaves of a water lily plant that lives in water are thin and big and float in water. So they look very different from the leaves of a cactus plant, so which are like sharp needles. See for example, the leaves of water lily plant also which is found in water, it, it is thin and big, the leaves of water lily plant and even it can float in water. Whereas the leaves of cactus is entirely different. So it is having sharp needles like structure. So when you grow up in higher studies you are going to learn. So these sharp needles are nothing but modified leaves or reduced leaves in cactus. Reduced leaves or modified leaves they are. And whatever green part we see that is not leaf in cactus it is, it is nothing but stem. So, the cactus is entirely different compared to a water lily plant which is found in water because of its adaptations. Similarly, a fish living in water has a different body structure compared to animals living on land. So, similarly, a fish has got a different body design. So, mainly to pierce the water and move. It is having a different uh, design. Whereas, the animals that live on land, they have a different design. Okay, that is mainly to suit the place where they live. Let us study the adaptations of plants in great detail now. Terrestrial plants. Plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. Never think like terrestrial plant means they are found on the terrace. No. Terrestrial plants mean these are the plants which grow on land, which grows on ground, land. They are called terrestrial plants. Depending on the conditions in which they grow, there are different types of terrestrial plants. So, there are different types of terrestrial plants depending on the conditions in which they grow. So, here we learn. Plants in deserts. Most of the soil in desert is dry. See, the soil in desert is dry. Means water content is very low. There is very little water as it is rarely rains there. So, as in desert, it rains very rare. So, that's why they have very little water in the soil. Yet, the plants live and survive in desert. Still, the plants can live and survive in desert. The roots of desert plants are adopted to take in whatever water is available. The roots of the desert plants are adopted in such a manner, whatever little water they get, so they will absorb them. Plants like the cactus have roots that spread out just under the surface of the soil. Okay, you can see the roots of the cactus plant. 
it has actually like it can completely spread more branches it has got so all the part of the surface soil they move so that whatever little water they get they can absorb them the mesquite bush or keeker has roots that can you can see that can grow down to more than 20 meters in search of water so the roots of this particular bush mesquite or keeker bush it can grow 20 feet deeper okay especially in search of water desert plants often have small leaves usually desert plants will have very small or tiny leaves the leaves of the cactus are like sharp pines so i told you in the like uh, what is it earlier topic the leaves of the cactus are cactus are like sharp spines this prevents loss of water from the leaves so especially when the plants have small leaves or when the like especially in cactus when it is having a leaf in the form of spine so this will prevent the loss of water from the leaves it will prevent the loss of water the cactus stores water in its thick stem so cactus will store water in its thick stem when there is no rain the cactus uses the water in its stem so when there is no rain the water that is collected in the cactus stem will be used by it instead of the leaves the thick green stem of the cactus makes food so here when leaves are absent in cactus it is in the form of spines to avoid water loss so instead of leaves it has got a thick green stem the green stem of the cactus will help in making the food plants in the hills it is very cold in winter in hilly places like uttaranchal kashmir and himachal pradesh so especially in uttaranchal kashmir and himachal pradesh so hilly area but it's very cold in winter some areas also experience snowfall in certain areas it will also experience snowfall the trees that grow here have to survive the cold and snow especially the trees found in uttaranchal kashmir and himachal pradesh cold places okay they should survive cold as well as snow they are usually tall and straight so these trees are usually tall and straight instead of flowers they have cones and are therefore called conifers so they do not contain flowers so they have some cone like structures like this cone like structures somewhat in this shape cone like structures so due to presence of cones in them they are commonly called as conifers c-o-n-i-f-e-r-s the cones have seeds in them so usually flower contains seeds but in these plants cones contain seeds conifers have needle like leaves that are rough that are tough and can survive the cold and snow so especially these conifers plants found in cold places they have needle like leaves and uh, like these needle leaves uh, like leaves are tough and can survive cold and snow the sloping shape of the trees makes the snow fall off them easily if you have a look at this particular tree it is having actually one sloping, uh, slopey structure. So due to this, if the snow fall, that particular snow will fall onto the ground. The sloping shape of the trees makes the snow fall off them easily. So that snow will not be collected on the plants. The pine, sprouse, cedar and fir are conifers. There are many examples for conifers. You can have a look at pine. This is actually called as cone. So instead of flower, they have a structure called cone. Inside the cone, actually seeds are actually produced. So pine, spruce, cedar and fir. So these are actually good example for conifers. They do not shed all their leaves at the same time and so look green throughout the year. Special thing is they do not shed their leaves. Okay, all the time. They shed their leaves but all the leaves are not shed at the same time not all the time same time so they look green throughout the year so they are therefore called evergreen trees usually what happens certain trees during winter or during winter or sometimes even summer so they shed their leaves but these trees do not shed all the leaves all the leaves they do not shed okay so throughout the year they appear green in color so that's why they are called as evergreen trees did you know some cacti cacti okay cactus it is cacti is plural some cacti remain dormant okay asleep when there is no rain so usually certain cactus variety they remain dormant 
okay dormant means they may not show any growth till they are alive okay when there is no rain so when it rains they produce flowers and seeds when it rains the cactus will start producing flowers and seeds the barrel cactus shrinks when it is dry so this is barrel cactus so whenever it uh, whenever uh, like it is dry so this podial cactus will shrink it becomes smaller in size after the rains it takes in water expands and becomes a green ball so when it rains when it gets water it will absorb absorb the water and it will expand and it becomes a green ball so this is actually example for conifers this even uh, usually in garden we see one more cycas so that is also one good example for conifers conifers belongs to one group of plants called gymnosperms that you are going to study in higher class what the example i mentioned just now cycas it is similar to conifers but it is a gymnosperm oak maple birch and beech trees shed all their leaves in winter to protect themselves from the cold so especially these trees they shed all their leaves okay in winter mainly to protect themselves from cold oak maple birch and beech trees new leaves grow in spring so they are called deciduous trees so usually new leaves will grow during spring you can see a oak tree in summer so it is having like all of its leaves it looks uh, somewhat green whereas just see in the winter it has shed its leaves in winter and spring which comes just before summer at that time it will grow new leaves and it appears lush green so such trees which will shed their leaves during winter and again they grow their new leaves in like spring season so we call them as deciduous trees example for deciduous trees are oak maple birch and beech trees now mark true for a tr like correct for a true and wrong for false statements plants survive because they are adapted to the conditions of the place in which they grow it is correct usually they adopt themselves to in the place where they live that's why they survive plants like the cactus and mesquite bush do not have roots this is wrong they have roots but they have a different type of roots oak and maple trees keep their leaves throughout the year so this is false oak and maple they are deciduous trees they do not keep their leaves throughout the year so usually they shed their leaves in winter they grow new leaves in spring season